Welcome back everybody. Today we have a Topps Chrome Blaster Box opening. This is the box that I purchased off of the Topps website right whenever it was first released. Probably not the smartest idea because I didn't really realize how uh, easy it would be to get Topps Chrome. I've already cut this open. I just pre-cut it there right before I started recording so I wouldn't have to struggle like I did on my most uh, recent video with the Topps Gallery Blaster. Anyway, you can see we get 32 total cards, eight packs with four cards in it. Uh, you know the, kind of the controversy that's been uh, kind of plaguing Topps Chrome, and now they're trying to make up for it by sending all these silver packs to hobby shops or breakers, or I don't know exactly who's getting their hands on them. I just know it's not me, which is fine, because I didn't buy any hobby boxes. Um, and they're starting to put all sorts of insane cards to kind of make up for their... Um, massive errors there, not inserting the SPs into all those hobby boxes when people were doling out tons of money for the card. So anyway, I was not in a position where I wanted to purchase any hobby boxes whenever it first went out onto tops.com, but I did purchase one of these blasters because I've had pretty good luck on tops.com this year, purchasing directly off the website. Obviously, if you watched my series two videos, you saw how lucky I got with that Mike Trout autograph. So I figured I would give Tops.com one more chance, although with retail products, you never really know. It's just kind of a crapshoot. I guess everything's really a crapshoot when it comes to cards, but even more of a crapshoot when you're just purchasing retail products instead of hobby boxes. So uh, we're going to go ahead and rip into this. Uh, the only thing I didn't like about this purchasing off of the website was the shipping was like $10, and I didn't realize that until it was too late. So looks like we have a pink there at the back. I might actually save that one. Let's go ahead and go into, well, you know what? No, I don't like it when people do that. Let's just go ahead and let's just jump right into it. Uh, we got Lindor, Cedric Mullins, who was all over my Topps Gallery box, Kirilov. We've got a Beau Bichette diving for a grounder there. And then our pink looks like it is, oh, also a landscape card. And that is Ruinzi Contreras. I can tell you who that is. I don't know if I pronounced his first name correctly, but he is very, very talented. Pittsburgh really managed his innings this year. Um, they didn't. They sent him down to the minors, not because he was bad, but just because they were trying to manage his workload. And then at the end of the year, they didn't let him pitch very much. He would only throw like four, five innings. Um, very talented pitcher. I had him on my fantasy team in the league with all the other YouTube guys, and I ended up hanging on to him the whole year, even when they sent him down, because I knew he was that good. And uh, I ended up having to drop George Kirby, which proved to be a bummer because he, uh, man, he came back to bite me because he was awesome. But the same thing happened with George Kirby. They sent him down over the All-Star break to kind of manage his innings. Trevor Rogers was on my team as well, and he did not have a good year. There's a really cool one just for me as a Royals fan. Get the refractor of Salvador Perez and then Brandon Marsh, who got traded to the Phillies before the season was over, and obviously he's now playing in the playoffs um, while his former teammates with the Angels are just kind of stuck watching at home. Trying to figure out what they can do next year to get Trout and Otani back to the playoffs before Otani's contract is up. Speaking of Otani, there he is. Going to get a lot of MVP votes. I know there's a lot of people who feel like he should be the MVP, and they definitely have a valid argument. Um, but I don't know. I just think Aaron Judge is going to be the runaway winner after his historic season this year as well. There's Scherzer, and then we have left another refractor. Oh, <laughs> man. These tops, tops.com, man. Something about it. It's like these first boxes off the jump. Um, I don't know if they're the first ones that get produced, but, man, they are just loaded. Wander Franco, I know he didn't have the best year this year. Still insanely talented. The negative refractor, I don't know if that's the right name for it, sepia refractor. That is really good. That's cool. Uh, I'm going to – I can't cover up Otani, right? Can't cover up Scherzer. I guess I will cover up Scherzer. Sorry, Mad Max. He kind of deserves it after the way he performed in the playoffs. That is sick. I didn't have a card even close to the ones that I already have on here. Ota the Contreras or the Franco in my blaster box I got at a Walmart. There's Corey Seager. We got Brandon Lau. We've got ourselves an 87 parallel of Jaron Duran. And then at the back, we have a Curtis Terry rookie card. I pulled that card, exact card, I believe, out of... My retail blaster I picked up at Walmart. Duran, I think, can be okay. He just, man, he got off to a rough start. Had that bonehead. I don't say it was bonehead. 
play where he just watched the ball. He kind of lost it. And then whoever got an inside the park home run, and then his he just was bad on defense. Ashby, who's kind of um, a pretty talented pitcher for the Brewers and went to college in my state, home state. There's another Salvador Perez refractor. We got the prism refractor and then the base refractor. That's pretty cool. Got ourselves a Nick Castellanos. And then another pink parallel. Is this another? Oh, no. This, is that an Atlanta Brave? It is an Atlanta Braves. Freddie Freeman, although obviously he is no longer a member of the Braves. So we have our second pink parallel. I don't think I got any pink parallels in my... Uh, that's maybe a lie. Maybe I did. I'm going to put in Salvador up there. So we've got bookend Salvador Perez's kind of guarding the Wander Franco in the middle, you could say. We got three packs left. This is already a W. I'm already chalking this up to a W. Now, granted... Did this blaster box cost $44 instead of $34? Of course it did. What in the world is going on? Oh my goodness, tops.com. This must be the place to go. That is Otani, guys. Where's my buddy Eric at Classic Cards? Eric, are you watching my video? Look at this. Angels, Shohei Otani. I don't even know if this is a rare insert or not. It's got that sparkle refractor look that I'm used to seeing in Bowman. We got an Altuve, let's get him out of the way. And we got a Rodolfo Castro. We'll get him out of the way. Sorry, Rodolfo. That is a Ricky card as well. I guess I can kind of put it right down here. And then look at this Shohei. I don't even know the name of this insert. Someone's got to help me. I'm sure it's on the back. Angels, designated hitter and pitcher. It just says P1, which refers to the style of two... Jeez, oh, I don't even know. But that is sick. Maybe I should flip over the the box here and see if I can find what type of parallel that is. Oh my goodness, look at the size of this. How, oh my God, I can't even read that. So we got the negative refractor there, which is one in 156 packs. I think that's what I have, or the sepia. Maybe it's the sepia, I don't know. Whichever one of those, a wander. Oh my goodness, this thing is so hard to find. Base card image variation. I don't know what this is. Somebody who's more intelligent than I am. Future Stars. It's obviously not Future Stars. Heart of the City. Is that the heart of the city? I don't feel like it. I don't even know, guys. I guess I should keep going. Maybe it's Club Plaques. One in 40. That might be a Club Plaque. I don't even know. All right, you didn't, want, you didn't click on this video to watch me struggle to find the odds. I'm going to assume that might be a Club Plaque since it has the angels right there. and It does kind of look like a plaque. That's really neat. That is really cool. Oh, and we, we've got another one that's an insert there. we got Xander Bogarts, who flirted with the batting title for a while. Tyler McGill. We've got a new Classics, and that is Yonder, or excuse me, I'm about to say Yonder Alonso. Jordan Alvarez, who's having an insane start to the playoffs this year. we got ourselves a couple landscapes. Trevor Story, obviously with the Red Sox right now. And then a Refractor, another one of those Sepia Refractors, a Frankie Lindor. That's my second Frankie Lindor. Not quite as cool as the Wander Franco. Sorry about that, Frankie Lindor. We're going to put you behind. And here we go, guys. The last pack. This has been absolutely nuts. Tops Chrome. The, I don't know what I did wrong on my first blaster because this one has been absolutely filthy. Nico Horner. We got ourselves a strangely kind of placed card there. Starling Marte, centering not very good. Top, very, very thin compared to the bottom. Got ourselves another... Anaheim Angel or Los Angeles Angel. Brandon Marsh, uh, like I said, though, he's not longer, no longer with their team. And then Blake Snell, who is pitching right as I am filming this video against the Dodgers in the playoffs on Friday night. So, man, I don't know what to say, guys. I bought one of these blasters at Walmart and thought it was absolute hot garbage. And I was not planning on buying any more because it was a waste of $30, $40 when you include tax. But then, holy cow, I may have renewed my faith. Didn't even pull any of the big image variations, but this Shohei Otani kind of club plaque is absolutely crazy with the speckle kind of refractor look to it. I know this the Jordan isn't maybe that hard of an insert to pull, but I just like that design. The sepia or the sepia, Wander Franco is absolutely sick, and the Contreras is not bad at all. Obviously, it was a pitcher that's not going to be that valuable, but I think he's very, very talented. The 87 inserts weren't horrible either. So overall, I think this is a W, guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments which card is your favorite. Um, I'll check them out here once you post your comments. Have a good one, everybody.